Oh, I got go, number baby. six. All right, guys. Here we go. Number six, baby. Here we go. I'm gonna move to the other side of the boat, folks. Fish, Fish on. on. He's a small one. Hey, it's a start. Uh, don't get skunk out of the boat. He may have let go here. He's running right to the boat. No, he's on there. Oh, he just realized he was hooked, folks. Let me turn there. He's not a monster, but he's not a baby either. I'm going to take my time with him just bring a little in, bit. Bring him in some new. This is me to talk. Sorry. We'll get the grippers here. Man, he was just running at the boat. In that case, Mike, hang around. Mike said he came back and the rod goes down. There we go. <laughs> you need to hang around and be a good Run around car. and the rod goes He's not a monster. He's a, about a 10-pounder, guys. Get the skunk out though. Yeah. He's just a 10 pounder. I got the rear. How about that? Fun. <laughs> about timing. I see he was whisker hooked, but I'm like, we'll try it anyway. Hi, right, guys. He's about 8 pounds. Nice fish. Uh, got the skunk out of the boat. But he wasn't one that we was wishing we had the net on yet. That's a fact. Whoop. All yeah. right, let's uh, throw him back in. No skunk, baby. No skunk. Told you. All right, brother. Go back and tell Grandpa. Whoop, whoop. And there he went. Whoop. All right. How'd the bite so weird today? There we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is going to be good one here. Get him, get him. That's good. Fishing, I guarantee that's fish on, guys. Right here on number one. Yeah. Yep, he's on. He's on. He's coming up, boys. He's coming up. He's a oh, golly. He called that a monster. I tell you, dude, he can't. Uh, back over to the middle, please. Yeah, it's hard to tell. That's the reason I hate to say. Hey, 12 pound fish, he's caught him fishing. I actually don't really know more. Look at that dead rat. Yeah. There's a dead rat the size of a cat just floating down the river by us here. Here, Woody, here's your 50 pounder. <laughs> Guys, I swear. <laughs> this current not just hard to tell because he felt like he's about 25 pounds when I grabbed into him well that was old bluegill live and learn all right we're gonna let him go let him grow Guys, he's still on the line. He's just got hung up in that bush. And there ain't nothing he can do. He probably done it when he hit it the first time. Yeah. I uh, I use a, I lose a lot of gear like this when I'm fishing with a uh, like this, but it just it just pays off for me to fish in this in these trees, even though we lose a lot of gear like this. I feel like that's some of our success while we catch so many fish. Is we'll, we'll set up the stuff even though we know we're going to lose lines that day. Still do it. I'm going to give him just a little more line to see if come on out. Hi, 
leveler. Don't try to break one off if he's in like that. Just try to see if you can give him time to come out. We're probably about, I guess, 50-50 on getting them out like that. Yeah. Sometimes we've been lucky or blessed enough to get one out like that. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes here and then drill up. Got you. And then we'll we'll see if we can get him out. He's still he's on. Still on it, ain't he? Yeah, he's still on it. I'm gonna try reeling him in. If he's still hung up, we'll reel on the rod and we'll back up to him. Out, boys. Yeah. Decent fish, guys. Yeah, he's out. Two hours waited on him. He swam out on his own, guys. Uh, you got to move on. Yeah. All right. Just had patience with him. He's about like the others, I think. Phone. Yeah, I'm gonna do both a little bit. All right. Patience sometimes is a virtue. That old boat, he's done wore himself out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, fighting in that tree limb, he's wore himself out. That's the same size as your mother, too. You gonna get him? Yeah. Give you slack. All right. Boy, he rubbed his chin raw on that darn. He was working on it, wasn't he? Sorry. In a monster, guys, but he's number three. He's number three. He ain't a monster, but he is a fish. About an eight pounder, probably. Uh, it got down in that tree, and I decided I was just gonna wait him out. So, I'm gonna let him go. Let's reel up and see if we can go find some bigger. Yeah, I'll go So, let me tell you, you're talking about birds. Bird. I was leaving. Walmart. Get him. Come on, baby. Get up and get ready. He's gonna take you down. Baby. Well, really, then, if you think he's there. Fish on, fish on, fish on, baby. Hit like a two pounder. Maybe he'll reel in like a 50. Hit yeah, like a two. He probably will because I'm reeling him in. We'll be here in 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that is airplane just went over. But we got a fish, Scooter. He's not a big one. He's a he's a fish at least finally. Right. Come right off this point like a thought. Hey, you want me to move that for you? I nah. got it. Don't worry about me, Daryl. Take care of it, brother. I guess we're gonna turn this camera this way. Let me let him around. I got him up a little bit. At least we're not deep. Yeah. Just a little. Oh, he's another. Same size as others. No, he may be smaller. Here, we're gonna we're gonna just bring him over. We'll him over here. Come on, buddy. Pretty little fish. He's a pretty little fish. Hey, sometimes we're happy to get one that size, though. Hey, Ma, look. I caught Daryl's fish. All right, guys. We're going to throw him back, let him grow up, and hopefully get bigger. Well, that was that was a small fish. There you go.
All right, guys, we are going to end this video for today. It's been a trying day. What a day. We did catch five fish, and uh, that was a good thing. But this is a lesson that you don't use junky bait when you're going fishing, catfishing, if you're trying to catch trophy fish. Uh, this will be the first time I've ever fished the Tennessee River system and never caught a fish over 10 pounds. Mm. Hey, what I done, guys, was I got the bait out of the refrigerator that I had some bait left over from a fishing trip that had thawed out, but it was still on ice, and I put it back in the freezer and refroze it again. So this morning I thought I'm gonna take all that with us fishing and see if we can do any good with it. I didn't have high hopes, and now we know why. <laughs> Don't laugh so hard, it hurts my feelings. Sorry, sorry. Anyway. We're gonna go catch some better bait for next trip, right? Yes, sir. We appreciate everybody that's uh, been joining into this video today and watched it and has hit the likes and, uh, and all you that have subscribed. We really appreciate that. Yes, and sir. Uh, until next time, I'm Daryl. And I'm Woody. And we'll catch you then.